Six months ago, I bought this van and it is finally ready to go camping in. I just bought a van. I just bought a van. I fitted this mattress this morning and it is so comfortable and hopefully I'm gonna get a good night's sleep. I've got to load up this drawer with all my cooking stuff because tonight I'm gonna cook up a really exciting meal which consists of a fish that I caught from the sea. Yeah! Look at that! Tomatoes that I grew in the back garden and also some wine which I picked up from a local vineyard. Mm. I'm looking forward to trying out the van. I've got a fridge, I've got lights, I've got everything I need to survive off grid. Let's go. Wow, I can't believe it. We're actually going camping in the van. It's been months since I've actually gone camping. So I'm hyped for this. Now I've done quite a lot of work in the last few days. I've been sort of doing all the finishing things such as fitting the electrics. Well, most of the electrics are sorted, but I still need to wire up the lights. So I've got some wires and a switch. And I need to wire it all up. I've got a crimping tool, stripping tool, wire cutter. That slides on nicely. I'll do the same thing for the other side. I don't understand. I sort of half know what I'm doing. But I know that there needs to be a circuit complete. And I know that I need to crimp these wires to these connectors. But really I don't know if it's going to work. So there's a circuit complete. I just need to put a fuse in. Oh my goodness, no way, I did something. The lights turn on. I did some electricity stuff. Wow. Electricity is really incredible. Like the stuff which you can do with all this equipment is mad, but it's also very confusing. Nice. So in this box is where most of my electric stuff is. I've got a battery and to charge up the battery, I've got two ways to charge it. Firstly, I've got a DC to DC charger, which basically just connects to the starter battery of the van. And when I'm driving, it charges up the battery as well as the starter battery. When I'm static and I'm not driving, I can charge up my battery with this solar charge controller. That connects to the solar panel, and so when it's sunny, I can get electricity, and it fills up the battery. I've then got a 12 volt fuse box, and off that comes all my 12 volt appliances, such as my lights, my fridge, and this USB charging thing. The only other thing I've got running is an inverter, and that basically means I can convert 12 volt electricity into 240 volt, which means I can charge my laptop and charge my camera batteries, which I need like a three pin plug socket. This is all stored underneath the seat and then try and hide all these wires. I've got to figure out where they're all going to run because at the moment this doesn't really look too neat. I also fitted some upper storage space in the back to give me a little bit more room for my things. Then to finish the wood, I used some oil and it gave it a really nice color. You know, it just looks a little bit more finished now that it's been oiled. Check it out, we've got, we got a camper in the back. So cool. That's where we're going. We're gonna cook up our meal at the top of the big hill. I finished it like two days ago. <laughs> so this is the first time trying it out. Oh mate, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Nice. See ya, thank you. Now the other day I went fishing in the sea. I uh, went out on a little boat with my friend and we had a rather exciting adventure. I'm gonna try and get a boat on top of the car. Fishing rods. Ooh. How many fish are we gonna catch? Probably none. Great. Positive vibes today. Let's go. <laughs> We're in. Let's go, cut some fish. Ah. 
Ah, it's painful. Oh, it's too. It's beautiful. Oh. Right now, right here. <laughs> Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Let's catch some food. <laughs> Or let's snag up my lure on a rock and then go home. <laughs> this is the lure. It's a big, juicy, plastic, rubbery thing, and the bat is going to be stupid and think it's food. Yeah, because we did like four drifts over the point, and we've got bite for every time. Yeah. Oh, let's fish down there, man. Definitely. Look at that. Yeah, your attire is. Just, I know. Incredible. It's the only way that I'm not going to get heat straight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Woo -hoo. Get in the boat, fella. You are mine. I don't know if that's going to make legal size, you know? Bass. Oh. Now we've got to catch a big enough one that we can cook up some nice food. That's the one. Oh, it's a fish. <laughs> Fishy. I think we've got one big enough to eat. Oh, no, no. I lost it. That was a big one. It's actually huge. Go on, Alex. Go on. <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a monster. It's all happening. We're in the waves. There's a seal trying to take my fish. Okay, how am I going to grab it without losing it this time? Okay, we've got to be careful. Oh my god! Yeah! Look at that! <laughs> wow, we're eating good. We're eating good. Look at that thing. <laughs> Giant. <laughs> there, it's a seal. He's looking at my fish. No, it's mine. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> wow, we're eating real good. <laughs> that is a beast. And here is the leftovers. I've got three of these actually, but um, we ate the other half of the bass when we caught it. And I've put the rest in the freezer, so tonight, or right now, I'm going to cook up this beautiful piece of bass. To go with my bass, I've got some tomatoes. Now these, I started growing in the spring. Inside every one of those is a big tomato plant with the capability of producing Many more tomatoes. Tomato. I started growing these tomatoes back in March and finally they're beginning to ripen. I've got probably just about enough to take for dinner. Looks like over the coming month or two though we're gonna have loads more. Like the, the first fruits at the bottom weren't too good but the higher up you go the more and more there are there we go that should be enough i also got a lemon i didn't grow this a shallot i didn't grow that and a smoked garlic i didn't grow that either then to complement my meal i went to the local vineyard this morning to check out the wine there i actually had a very fun morning doing some wine tasting. It's the first time for everything and today is the first time I'm buying wine from a proper winery. That's the vineyard. So this is, um, this is mostly Chardonnay. So it's about 60% Chardonnay, 40% Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier. It's more bubbly. Mm. To me, they all tasted of wine, but um, there were subtle differences, and apparently this one here goes very well with bass. So we're gonna crack this open and have a little taste. By the way, I am not driving home tonight. I am sleeping here. I'm camping in my van. 
so I can indulge in this beautiful bottle of wine. So this is from Ridgeview, which is just over there. This bottle of wine was made just in the distance. It's Blanc de Blanc, which I believe means that it is made from 100% white grapes. It means white of white. It was made in 2016 using the traditional method. It's where you do two fermentations. You do the first one to turn it into wine, which is a still wine. And then you do a second one inside the bottle which creates the bubbles and makes it sparkling. Fascinating stuff, I know. So this thing is like a safety to stop it from blasting off. Cheers, everyone. I'm gonna start cooking up this meal. Mmm, wow. All the people around it looking at me must think I'm bonkers. They don't think it, they know it. Got my little gas cooker. Lots of people saying this might not be strong enough like, to cook on. We're gonna find that out today. I wanna dry out the skin of the bass because I want it to go crispy. I'm gonna be using my knife, which I made in March. This is, everything's coming together now and I can now enjoy all these things which I worked on. And the van was finished yesterday. I've been using my knife quite a lot and the end has gone slightly dull. I've got this leather strop, so I can brush my knife over this and it just sharpens it up. And it's surprising how much difference this actually makes. And then I've got this even finer side, which I can do the same thing on. We've got to make sure everything is ready before I start cooking. This is called, I think, mise en place in French. It's like getting everything cut, prepared, before you start cooking. I'm gonna salt the bass. I got some smoked garlic. Look how big that garlic is. I'm gonna make a little sauce from a shallot, garlic, and also my tomatoes. By the way, this is a completely improvised recipe. I am winging it massively, and I don't really know how it's gonna turn out, but we're gonna try our best. Wow, this knife is super sharp now. Go away, rain. Lemon. This is my chopping board. Bass, tomatoes, shallots, garlic, and lemon. Mmm. No, rain, go away. You see, I'm not getting wet. I'm undercover from this, but it's just my cameras which are outside, which are getting wet. And it's annoying because I want to film this beautiful feast. I guess I'll just have to be patient and wait for a gap in the rain. Ice cream vans decided to go home. Maybe I should too. It's just gone so gray and horrible. And there's water and it's dropping on that and then it's splashing off that into my drawer, which isn't ideal. I'm gonna put everything on my desk and then come back out when it stopped raining because I don't like this at all. Hello everyone. It's pretty cool though that I can quickly get everything out of there and back in here. Just pouring it and looking at the bubbles and the froth is fun. And it's honestly the best white wine I've ever had. It's ready to just put on the hot oil and crisp up the skin nicely. Ah, oh, it smells all so good. I've just got to wait for it to stop raining. So annoying. Let's have some crisps. These are funny. It's been sunny and warm for the last like two months. And then I decided to go camping and then it just... Yep, I know what I'll do. I'll rain on Alex because he's decided to go camping. Now I've got this app on my phone and I can... I'll quickly do a screen record actually so you can see how it looks. 
So I can click on the smart solar charger, which is also under the seat there. And I can see now that it's generating three watts of electricity, which is nothing. I don't think that's really helping much. I mean, it's something, but when it's sunny, like it was earlier, this was displaying like 200 watts, which is mad. When it is full sun and most effective, it should produce 250 watts, I think. So that is one way of charging my battery. And then I've also got another device, which is a battery to battery charger. And this is also connected to my phone. And I click on that and now it's off because my engine isn't running. So when I'm driving, it actually charges my leisure battery, which is so cool. And that's about it. If I can edit from inside here, I can work anywhere in the world, as long as I've got the van, which I think is pretty neat, to be honest. So here's my upper storage cabinet thing that I made. I decided not to put a front on it because I don't think it really needs it, but it turns out it's the perfect place to store crisps. Why is it raining? I want to cook my food. The thought just occurred to me that I don't actually need to cook outside. I made this van in such a way that I can access everything from in here. So that storage thing underneath me, which slides out, the kitchen area, I can actually get to from in here. I just need to lift this up, fold it back, and then I can, I might need that nice olive oil. So, now there is a downside to this and that is the fact that any oil that splatters will go on the van and possibly onto my bed which isn't ideal okay here's my kitchen it is kind of nicer to be in here cooking because I feel like I have a bit more privacy you know there is my sea bass oh I'm gonna push it down so it has full contact with the pan. Ah, it's hot. It's nearly there. I can see the white flakiness is gradually getting higher and higher up on the, the fillet of bass. Ah, there's oil going everywhere. Ouch. Ah. Yeah, people said I should put a, a vent in the roof, but I didn't listen. I should have done. I'll do it next time when I do van conversion number two. And we're gonna put it on the plate, skin side up, so that it stays crispy. All right, that goes to the side, that's done. Now, we're gonna cook our shallots and garlic. Ah, no, there's a lemon in there. That was not supposed to happen. Blimey. Shallots and garlic are cooking. The door is open to let out some of the crazy heat. It's like a proper kitchen in here. Fish. Of course, I didn't think of it before. We've got some white wine. add some flavor oh it smells so good as soon as you add wine it just smells amazing and now it's a proper creamy sauce that was the missing ingredient oh wow that's really tasty I can't quite believe it actually tastes good it's not done just yet I've got a couple more additions. I've got a jar of honey. Now this isn't any old honey. This is honey which I harvested from my own bees. I started keeping bees about a year ago and it's one of the best things I ever did because I have been rewarded with many jars of this beautiful liquid gold. And you know what? I reckon a little spoonful of this. I need to get my spoon. Oh no, that's a massive spoon. I don't want a big spoon. We're gonna take a spoonful of this. I don't know if that's gonna work or taste good, but surely, honey tastes good in everything. Mmm. Oh, that's the best honey I've ever tasted. 
Parmesan cheese. This is DOP Parmigiano Reggiano, which means it's come from the proper region of Italy, I think. A couple of basil leaves. A couple of parsley leaves. That is sea bass I caught from the sea. Tomatoes that I grew in the garden and honey that I harvested from my bees. Let's feast, shall we? Cheers, everyone. Thank you very much for watching my van conversion series. I appreciate every single one of you who have stuck around and left nice comments, given me support and ideas. It is uh, much appreciated. Oh my goodness, the honey just goes with that bass so well. Whoa. I am actually very proud of myself. I lose all chef credibility for missing some bones in the bass though. Bass is one of the best tasting fish ever. And it's mad that it's possible to just go out on a little boat and catch one. Like you don't even have to be a very skilled fisherman. That in itself was a fu- That- Jeez, I'm drunk. That in itself was a fun experience. Mmm, the skin. The skin of that bass crisping in my mouth. It's wonderful. What a day. I don't want this meal to end. It's so good to be alive. Thanks for sharing the meal with me. I wish I could have made a hundred plates of these and shared them through the camera somehow. That sort of technology isn't around yet. Did it taste so good because all the ingredients, there was some meaning behind them? Or did it taste good because I've had an awful lot of wine to drink? Or did it taste good because it was actually good? I don't know, and I don't think it really matters. I just had a flipping lovely time. So this is really neat. I've got a USB port just next to my bed. I can charge my phone. Oh, it feels very comfortable at the moment. Good night. I was going to have some of this really nice coffee for breakfast that I got the other day. It smells just incredible. But I didn't bring something to heat water up in. I've got my frying pan, but that's currently covered in fish juice from last night, so... I'm gonna have a cherry bakewell tart. Now I've got some milk. Look at that for a morning snack. So after spending a night in here, I already can see many improvements I could make. I think I need a curtain across this front bit here to separate the driving section from the camper section because there's all these windows and people can look in and I can look out and it'd be nice if it was a bit more you know private in the back here I could also put a curtain on that window there but the thing is that's tinted so you can't really see in unless you get right up close so that one I'm not too worried about I realized my bed is quite small however it is just about okay I think I need to get some wind deflectors for the front two windows so I can have them a little bit down in the night. And also if I'm doing cooking in here, it needs to have some sort of airflow. But I mean, this thing is fully usable. I had my iPhone plugged into the USB all night. Everything seems to be working. My solar panel is collecting electricity. This was where I slept last night, along with loads of other cars. Hopefully I'll find some places in Europe which are really quiet. Wow, first night in the camper. I realized that the van isn't really finished. There's still quite a lot of things that I could do to improve it, but I can do those things over time. Anyway, I have got to go home and pack for a month around Europe, or maybe it'll be more than a month. Maybe it'll be for the rest of my life. I'll be traveling in this van. Who knows? Thanks for watching everyone, appreciate the view, I'll see you next time.